Good morning. Um, it's been a while. Um, this is going to be a weekly reading. Um, whoever spirit wants to, for me to connect with, whoever spirit brings to me through these tarot cards and oracle decks. No, actually, yes, one oracle deck and the rest is going to be tarot. This is going to be the energy uh, of the week for the collective sign of Aries, the general reading, of course. So take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I'm going to do uh, this week, which is October 18th, I'm sorry, October 11th through the 17th. I'm getting my head of myself. Um, so first we're going to get a theme. I'm going to be using this deck here, which is the Wisdom of the Oracle. A theme for the week for you, Aries, the collective that I'm connecting with. And then we're going to go ahead and get your energy, or energy of someone around you, um, possible outcome and advice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. Let's just jump right on in and see what's going on with you, Aries. I hope you're all doing well. I hope this is a little unsteady. I hope this candle doesn't fall over. All right. Let's see, Aries. So, Spirit, thank you for your advice and wisdom and guidance. Could you please bring through some energy of a um, certain collective of Aries sign, the sign of Aries, that you want to give advice to this week, some knowledge, let them know what's going on. So let's go ahead and say, let's see what's going on. What's the theme for this week for the sign of Aries? October 11th through the 17th, 2021, please. All right. What's coming out for you, Aries? What's the theme for this week for you, Aries? Again, this could be sun, moon, or rising. It might not resonate for everybody. Round and round. So do you feel like you're going round and round, not getting anywhere, Aries? Are you round and round in your mind? Is your just life in general just going round and round? Like in circles, you feel like you can't complete a cycle. You're back thrown back into it. Let's go ahead and see what the more in-depth meaning of this is card. It's number 25. So let's see. All right, 25 is round and round, of course, like we just said. All right, so the essential meaning is the spiral quality of events when a lesson isn't quite integrated, cycles you are challenged to break, revisiting a pattern from a new perspective. So is there something that you just can't get a grip on and you just keep repeating the same cycle, Aries, like I said, just around and around? Um, I know that rings true for me, being a double Aries. Actually, I think I have more than just double. I think I have another sign in it. I'm not sure. Mars, Moon, and Sun, I think. <laughs> but anyway, do you feel like you're just going around and around in a circle and can't break off that cycle? This oracle message is the appearance of this card is a reminder that although it may appear that you've gone backward, the truth is that you are standing at a higher, like take a look at this, it looks like a shell, doesn't it? Higher level, looking down into your circumstances. You will learn something, do something better, and break a cycle set up in the past. You actually have a bird's eye view of your initial footprints and can ex access the wisdom and lessons learned. So see, this is just being guided to tell you, um, you know, you might feel like you're repeating cycles, but you actually have learned a lot and you are seeing things in a different perspective. OK, so if it's a relationship message, you are wondering, how did I get here again? <laughs> that's, that's why I like relationships anyway. Um, does something feel familiar right now in your dynamics with others? Maybe a little too familiar. Don't be surprised that you found yourself repeating an old story with the same sort of person who may not look similar, but who, who attracted you because of your easy acquaintance with his or her qualities. Your relationship is a mix of what is good and what is potentially challenging. You have been drawn to the person through the perfection of spirit's plan for your evolution. You may have circled back to an accustomed spot, a familiar place, but this, that's fine as you get to do things again, only differently this time, for you've learned something of great value since the last time around. How will you choose to behave now that you're aware? Remain curious and stay out of the blame game. Prosperity message is if you're in a scenario that appears to be an echo of something that's already happened in the past in your work life, it's because you've been invited to see what you could have done before. This is a perfect time for you to look at the deeper motives you have and your attraction to the opportunities and people who have entered your life to be part of your journey to prosperity. Who helps you navigate? Who sabotages you? Who supports you? What are your familiar signs and your responses to them? When you find yourself in a repeat of pattern of the past, it's a good time to get a coach or mentor who can help you to see what you can't on your own. Repeat what works 
not what doesn't. Then you will free yourself from the old cycles and cease going around and around. The protection message is, you are refusing to see your own personal responsibility for repeating lessons you don't need to relearn. You have to surrender now to the fact that you are a common denominator in all these repeat performances. Be happy for this is a wonderful spot to be in. You can now see the cycles that you wish to exit. Once you figure out that you have the power to stop going round and round, you possess the key to your freedom. Be good to yourself. It's not about blame, but accountability. You can have the abundant life filled with love and prosperity that spirit so wants for you. Okay? So, you know, whatever aspect that relates to your relationship to prosperity or your personal life, you know, just realize that this is an opportunity to change things that haven't worked, okay? Instead of keep repeating them. Um, sometimes I know we feel stuck because of our circumstances, but believe me, it might be small steps, but there is eventually a way out of it, okay? So now we are going to go ahead and get your energy for this week, Aries. Again, this is for October 11th through, oh, that, well, that one just wanted to fly out. October 11th through the 17th. Okay, I'm going to get a couple and then we'll see what's up. Okay, two, anything else? Be careful which bone, don't knock my candle over. <laughs> all right, so, all right, so here we have the seven of pentacles reversed. Not making a good plan or setting intentions for your future. You know, being in that round and round, sometimes we get stuck there and it's hard to figure out what our next plan is or where we need to move forward in the future. So it looks like you're kind of stuck in that area. Like, what should I do next? And that makes sense with the round and round. So in some aspects in your life, your energy is kind of like in a stuck mode and you're not knowing which way to go. This is like getting messages of clarity and truth. You know, take a good look at where you are, what you want to achieve. Um, take a good look at, like, if you are the one preventing yourself from breaking those habits or those situations, meeting up with the same kind of people that haven't worked, you know, really take a look at that. See if there's anything in your past, like triggers or warnings, be, uh, behaviors from others as you grew up, like inner child wounds, different things like that. Really take a look, because if we really want change, we have to go deep and figure those things out, right? And then you have this Knight of Swords, which is actually taking action towards your truth. So it looks like this week, Aries, you're tired of being stuck. You're tired of going round and round. And you're maybe sitting back or observing, um, digging deeper, looking to for answers to what is keeping you there. You know, what is it me? Is it, you know, my circumstances? Um, is the people around me? Whatever it is. Is it this job? And then you're like taking action to move away from that and seek your truth and your happiness and your inner peace. Okay, so that's what it looks like so far for you. Now we are going to go ahead and get a person around you. This could be a love interest, a family member, a coworker, a friend, whatever it is. Let's see. Uh, people around, someone around Aries, people around Aries, a certain person around Aries, energy this week. Death. So some kind of transformation, leaving behind it. Um, uh, one way of being and moving into a um, transformation, a different cycle. So you could, somebody could be like leaving your life, whatever way possible. Usually this doesn't mean physical death, but it actually could as well. So you might sadly have had a death in the family. This could also just be people leaving your life. Someone it could be moving away, uh, just not associating with you anymore, leaving the place you work taking another job, however it resonates. And let's see what else. Oh, Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, moving forward slowly towards, you know, their financial security, their stability. So it looks like somebody could be maybe taking another job and moving away from you, um, just going towards a different life. Could be, had been living with you and moving out. There's some kind of death of a cycle here with this person. Let's see what else. And that might be as well. Why you just feel like, you know, uh, not again. I'm like this, you know, another situation ending. That's it, too much in my life, you know. Let's see if there's any other energy for this person. Yeah, they're going towards their success after some conflict. So they're leaving a cycle. They're transforming, closing out a cycle. 
moving slowly towards their principles for their success because they're tired of this conflict. All right. So it could be maybe you two are conflicting. And I know somebody said once, why do you always say maybe? Why do I say maybe? Because it's going to be different for all of you as well as the energy can shift. And there's different, like I said, different situations in everybody's life. So you have to take it as it resonates. You can't like expect me to know exactly what's going on in every area's life, right? I'm reading through the cards. So what, uh, what, what um, spirit wants to bring through, the universe wants to bring through. All right, so now we are going to go ahead and get possible outcome of this situation. Possible outcome is Knight of Presence. So again, this is the Knight of Pentacles. So moving forward, slowly, methodically planning things out, taking action to move forward, as well as seeing things in a different perspective. So the possible outcome is that you're both going to move forward, not like swiftly, but you know, small steps towards your, your abundance, your manifestation, your financial stability. You're seeing things differently in a new perspective. So from this person leaving possibly, and we already saw that you are already like looking at things and diving deep kind of, so star. Yeah, towards your, you know, healing and going towards your wish fulfillments here. So that looks like the possible outcome. So this is all like going together well. All right, now we're just gonna get some advice from spirit for you, Aries. Advice for the week of October 11th through the 17th for the sign of Aries, please. Advice. Queen of Wands, standing in your energy, being confident, courageous, going for what you want, not, not letting others persuade you differently. But it looks like, you know, just stand in your own energy because Queen of Wands is an Aries card. So make sure you stand in your own energy. Um, you know, make sure you protect your energy from others. Hierophant, yeah, tap into your spirituality, your higher self, your spiritual wisdom, okay, to get the answers you need. Knight of Cups. This is someone who's very caring, can be very romantic, so, you know, um, you know, make sure you ground your emotions. Don't get too emotional about things, you know. That's why it's saying, like, stand in your own energy and tap deep. You know, you might have to bring up some emotions for healing as well. But I really get this is coming tr true. It's like you are really tired of this cycle going round and round. You want to get off the merry-go-round. So it looks like you're looking deep, standing. But Spirit is saying stand in your energy, though, okay? Don't absorb everybody else's energy. Don't let it deplete your energy. You know, stay true to your, to your empowerment and really go within. Figure out what you really want. And... You know, be honest with yourself and see where are you keeping yourself stuck, okay? If there's some reason that you keep attracting the same person that's not been working out, um, it's time to take a look and see where that wound was from your childhood, because that's what happens with us when we get molded as children. We have, um, you know, you know, little scars and things like that, and, and we follow those patterns, you know? Like, I'm not saying you all do, but maybe you had a father that abandoned you or something like that. So you might be looking for qualities of that man, male figure that's like your father. Um, but you don't want people to just not be responsible and leave you. So you, you need to go in and really take a look at that and see where you are blocking yourself as well and what you can do. Really set your intentions, go within. Um, keep your emotions grounded. This is what the spirit is advice this to you. Keep your emotions grounded, go within and figure out what your true soul, what you really want. Okay. Don't let everybody else tell you. Stand in your power. Okay. Let's see if there's any other advice. And then we're going to close this reading. Any other advice for Aries for this week, please? Spirit, October 11th through the 17th. Oh, it's these two. Yeah. Yeah. Move away from the, it's time to move away from those disappointments that merry-go-round that keeps going around and around and you keep getting hurt after you know disappointed and stay strong stay in your strength okay you are strong you can do this Aries so you know if you want to finally break that cycle you know 
you got to get off that merry-go-round, right? So the way to get off that merry-go-round is you got to do the things differently. You're going to keep getting the same results if you keep doing the same things. So thanks so much for watching, Aries. Have a beautiful week. Take care. Bye.